My entry into this was always uh, the idea of getting into music. So that's where uh, my schooling was placed, internships, but got an internship right out of school that led me into post-production. That led to an opportunity to leave Dallas and come out to Hollywood to work at a facility that did both music and post-production. Our main area that we're in right now is NWE finishing. So we do uh, theatrical marketing for studios as well as streaming services. And uh, both audio, video, color correction is all done through here. We have uh, 10 mix rooms, a few edit rooms, and we have different groups of people who work for different studios and door services. So we have teams that we've built that primarily work on dedicated projects or studio work. With that, we are doing everything from television spots, radio spots, social media pieces, Facebook, Instagram, all those type of pieces. We've just done a, a very large upgrade in all of our rooms. Uh, so we are now using the S3Vs. Uh, with either sub 10s or sub 12s, depending on the size of the rooms that we're running. This larger room here is kind of a mix of a, a few different things where we're running S3Hs uh, across the front for left, center, and right. We also have a sub 12 in this room as well. And then everything else uh, for surrounds, overhead, for Atmos are all S2Vs. Working with Dolby, you have to meet their specs in, in terms of height, of all speakers for the design of the room. Uh, once all the specifications of your room are kind of given to them, they go over those things and, and make adjustments as far as speakers that uh, for very specific SPL levels of what they need to match. Uh, so once we got past that section and we started looking at placement of speakers, it was, it was a redesign and uh, moving of the console and, and so it changed, definitely changed the, the setup of the room a little bit, but we've accommodated for the size of the room was, was still ideal without any real heavy construction. It was just some light changes here and there and then figuring out exactly where speakers needed to be. Kind of the good thing about uh, Dolby Involved is they basically tell you where the speakers need to be, where the console needs to be, and where you as a mixer need to sit to be in that perfect placement and uh, to be able to go through their certification program. They're amazed at how things are now sounding. Uh, once dialogue is cleaned up, using these speakers to use different plugins to clean dialogue to take ticks and pops and clicks and all of those things out of there, that they're really hearing it in such a clean, fresh environment. 